Thank you, Mark, so much for uh, joining us today. It's really great to talk with you. Yeah, great. Thanks for asking me. I uh, appreciate what you guys do, even on this video um, level of things. I love watching it. Fantastic. So, Mark, tell us um, tell us a little bit about you and your history in the business. Okay. Um, I've been in the business since about 1997. I've been with Remax for almost all of those years. And so I've seen the ups and downs and lefts and rights, and I've seen, I've seen just about it all. Um, and like I said, I've been Remax, um, red, white, and blue for almost all those years. Fantastic. Um, what does your business look like? Is it, um, is it you? Do you have a team? So I started out probably for uh, 14 of those years. It was solo um, about six years ago. I took on my first, I guess I'll say employee, administrative person, mm -hmm. and uh, Jessica, and uh, really realized that there was something to um, handing off um, things that I was not good at, and that could allow me to do more business at, with things that I was good at. And um, shortly after that, I had uh, Justin reach out to me um, and say, hey, I've been interested in the business. Um, you have a spot and you, you, he saw things falling off the table and I said, yes, but let's ease into this. So we kind of did it slow and steady. Um, and so once those two, you know, came into play, next thing you know, I've got nine people with me right now. Um, and we're doing pretty well. Wow. That's great. So how many people are employees versus the agents? So I've got, um, three employees and, um, six agents, including myself. Great. And are, do you guys do everything together? Are you all using the same systems, the same processes for everything? Yes. Yep. So we are coached through workman success systems. Uh, that was another thing I picked up a few years ago. I started to realize um, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I just kind of want to find some people using the wheel and, uh, you know, go with, go with that, go with some proven systems. And uh, so we did that a few years back, uh, which all these little steps have like made big improvements along the way. Um, so uh, what was your question again? Yeah, I just was asking about how closely the team, you know, all follow the same process and things like that. And I know the work, I'm familiar with the workman system, of course. So um, I know that you guys are pretty integrated and um, you're all doing the same things. You're all following the program uh, pretty closely. Yes. Yes. Every yeah. time you flip the camera over and then it's me staring at me, that's where I lose my train of thought here. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so we use a proven system through work and, Workman Success and then every agent is using um, that system to a T. Uh, we try, I mean, even as far as what we do daily and what our perfect week looks like and what we do on a daily basis is pretty similar. Um, so yeah, we've kind of um, tried to take what works and then scale it. Great. So um, what CRM were you using before you started with Realvolve recently? Okay. So we were using Contactually okay. and um, kind of a neat little backstory. When I picked Contactually, I want to say three or four years ago, uh, we were making a switch and um, I looked at looked at Realvolve. I think you guys were newer at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked at all of the other ones. My Jessica hated me because we were trying like three of them at once and um, so I went nuts and uh, Realvolve was great. I liked the concept, but I think it wasn't as in depth at the time and it wasn't quite evolved like it was, you know, evolved like it was, uh, is and uh, contextually um, I liked the fact that they had a real good relationship um, management uh, level where it told you at a glance where your relationship was with each past client or future, whatever the client is, uh, where you were at with that client. So um, we were with them for two and a half years, I would say, with Contactually. Got it. And so what did the team look like when you started with Contactually? We were with, I believe we had two buyer's agents, 
um, Jessica, Edmund, and myself. We were probably sitting at four or five when we picked up Contactually. Okay. Um, so a lot of the team joined and learned Contactually um, as they were getting ramped up. So I know how big of a decision it is to switch um, CRMs, especially when you have a team like you have. Uh, why did you start looking at Realvolve again, or why did you even consider switching from Contactually? So um, with everything we're trying to do, which is scaling everything, take what take what works and um, do it twice as many times or three, three times as often, um, we were down at the uh, convention, actually, down for Workman Success Systems, and you were down there, um, stopped by your booth and... You know, I mentioned the same thing to you, how I looked into Realvolve uh, a few years ago, and you quickly showed me that things were night and day different. Um, not that they were bad before, but they were more complex. And, and, it, and this is in the middle of us back at the office working with a couple different tasks, management, um, softwares. We're using, um, we we're using Contactually for relationship management. We we're using Next, it's called, for some task management. And I think there's even another software we're using um, just to kind of keep things organized. And we were using a lot of different platforms. And it seems like what you guys are doing puts all of that into one and, you know, amplifies it on top of that. Right. Yeah. So the, uh, the benefit of having all the systems in one uh, is really because of the fact that we're designed with residential real estate in mind from day one, um, it's all real estate tasks that you can build and the fields are already customized and the processes are customized, uh, for that, for the, for real estate teams. So, um, was there other people on the team then that you had to convince to, to switch over to real vault? Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously I get to make the decision on what we go with, but, uh, there was, uh, was, I should say, is some resistance, a little bit of resistance, um, you know, creatures of habit that like, um, and I am the same way, I guess, proven systems, you know, you're, something's working, you hate switching. Yeah. Uh, but, right. well, it's, it, it can be a little disruptive regardless of the reasons or how much of an upgrade you're going to get in the end. It's, there's a disruption there, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, I would say, that I even temporarily underestimated, you know, what the, the transition might be, because um, we're still probably halfway through it. And um, so, so how long is it? How long have you have you guys uh, been switched? We switched uh, almost right when we got back from that January conference. I would say late January. So we've been about a month and a half. Okay. About a month and a half into it. Great. And, and so tell us about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, what's, okay. um, let's start with, you mentioned you weren't quite prepared, maybe didn't give it, um, as much weight as it, as it's taking now. Um, sure. tell me a little bit about that. What, what's more difficult or taking longer than you thought? Um, basically a couple things. The, uh, the first one, or I guess the biggest one is like the workflows, um, setting up the workflows. You get into that workflow um, section of the site and it's got so many awesome tools and so many awesome, um, if this happens, you can have this happen. Uh, you can have it automatically go from this tag, remove this tag. You can have the checklist, automatic things happen to the client, to the assistant, to the buyer's agent. It's just so, so in depth and, and uh, advanced that uh, I consider myself pretty techie. Uh, and it's, it's like, holy cow, this is a little bit overwhelming on how much you can do with it. Mm -hmm. uh, it it's, like a, it's like a super nice machine, but it, it, your average person is going to need some help putting it together. So that, that was taken care of, which I can talk about unless you get a you guys have you guys have good systems for that too. Yeah, please share your. I'd love to hear your experience. So, and just to we, be clear, I had I didn't know homework. I didn't check with my team on how things were going with okay. you. So okay. I'm learning. Um, okay. This is great for anybody that's watching right now that might be thinking about switching or that recently switched. This is great for them because we're, I don't want to hide anything. I want them to understand 
um, what it's like. And then selfishly, I love to hear feedback so that I can help us get better. Um, so sure. that's my job. So for, for sure. two reasons, please do share. Okay. So I, um, when I heard that there was the option of just taking on the product, uh, doing your export, import, and getting it up and running, I was like, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Um, so we started to do that. And I quickly realized, because I heard other people say, you know, there's the, um, there's the a la carte way where you can have someone help out. Um, maybe an hour at a time on different webinars and they can walk you through things or there's the full fledged, um, onboarding. I forget the name of it, but there's a full fledged onboarding program that you can use and it's completely hands-on and they do a ton of work for you. And they do tell you that it's going to be two to three months before you feel like you've got, got everything up and running. So like I say, I started out thinking I've got this. It's import, export, get a couple things going. Um, and I quickly realized, A, I shouldn't be doing this. It's not super dollar productive for me. Um, and B, it's a little more difficult than I would have thought because it's, uh, it's so complex. So we started using uh, one of your sales gals um, who was real helpful communicating with me, um, said, I've got an idea. You probably need this a la carte system. You, know, you probably don't need the full on help. Um, but you, maybe this a la carte system would work for you. So there was, a um, Gary reached out and, uh, um, he's been super handy, super helpful. Uh, we can shoot him an email. He'll answer within a couple hours. Um, he's helped set up some Zapier things for us. Um, he, we did a one hour, um, screen share with him and we have a couple more, um, banked up that we get to use as we go, as we need. And, uh, He's working closely with my admin, um, and so I guess that was my point: is that there's the do-it-yourself way, uh, which I thought I could do, but it, uh, I shouldn't be doing anyway because it's just not dollar productive. Yeah. And then there's the a la carte, and then there's the full hands-on. Um, so you guys have it set up pretty well for whoever wants to take it on. Yeah, and the full hands-on we call that the our workflow strategy program. It's about a six to eight eight week program, um, really hands on, but, um, we assign one dedicated person similar to what you have now with Gary. Um, and they'll walk you through getting probably about 30 different automations set up. So about 30 workflows for different circumstances. Um, and we have probably about 15 teams a month go through that program or start that program. Um, and then we probably have another 15 or 30, depending on the month, go with the more a la carte option, like what you're going through right now. Um, so it's almost equal. It just totally depends on your style and what you need. So um, I know that your, your, your team has already been process focused. It wasn't that we needed to invent new processes. We really just needed to get your current processes a little bit more automated into the system. So I, yeah, that, that for a team like that, the, the a la carte or a fast start, um, type of an onboarding program is probably going to be the best bet. So, um, what, what are the things that are exciting to you that help you carry through with the motivation to, to continue to push ahead and that you're excited for in, in another, you know, four weeks when you're complete? You always throw me off when you do the screen share to my. <laughs> the trick is you're just supposed to look directly at the camera and not look at I'm yourself. Look this way. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we did a couple tests where we threw in um, my administrative assistant um, into a workflow for say a as a new client, and um, I loved seeing the automation. We, there were some uh, workflows in there that had uh, the scripts already in. I don't know if that, uh, I think there's a lot of different uh, workflow um, subscriptions you can purchase or whatever, but right. we uh, have a workman one um, and we just threw a couple tests in there and it was just amazing to watch um, over the couple days, the things that would come into her on her text um, and it would come in through email that, um, you know, we have different, we use bomb bomb a lot too. So we have some drips and stuff set up, but we don't have the text option. We really mm -hmm. like the text option with real Um, and 
you know, just everybody's going to open the text and it feels like it personally came from us. And uh, so we're excited about that. Um, but really, I guess the nine, I guess the 75% thing that we're excited about is the automation uh, workflows and automation. Um, you know, the, we've built these huge checklists um, that make sure that every client gets the same experience and Realvolve is going to, um, is, and you know, further once we get um, deeper into it, gonna help us just make every client get that same experience. We have a lot of videos um, that we do. We have a lot of content that we use uh, and we just want each client to get, no matter um, if they're a Zillow, uh, Zillow lead or if they're a referral or if they're an open house person obviously each of those are going to have different workflows but uh, we want that same high, at least I want that same high level of customer service and with the team uh, making it easier and easier for my team to have a higher um, conversion rate too if they're converting three percent we're going to get that up to five whatever that is with with the automation and the content I love it so what, um, what last piece of advice would you have for uh, an agent or a team leader considering switching from contactually? Um, if you had them in front of you right now, what would you tell them? Um, I would say contactually. I have, don't have much bad to say about contactually. I would say, but if you're looking for something that's going to run your business, not just help manage your relationships, if you want like an all-in-one a uh, program that can actually run your business, keep you on track, um, do a lot of workflows, help you, and on top of that, help help you keep your relationships solid with your clients. Uh, Realvolve is an all-in-one package. Um, there's a lot of programs out there, as I tested a lot of them, that do certain things great, um, but they only do that one thing great. I think Realvolve does three or four things really, really good. So that was why we moved over. Wow. So thank you so much, um, Mark, for sharing some insight with us today. And um, it was great talking with you. Hopefully we get to uh, rub shoulders sometime very soon in the near future. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. Bye for now. Thanks. We'll see you.